Copilot just got a major upgrade with 12 new features. This includes collaborative group chats, memory and personalization, vision, Copilot mode in the Edge browser, and a whole lot more. Plus, we're gonna have a special appearance by our old friend Clippy. So let's get started. The first new feature is that Copilot now has the ability to store different memories. So for example, I'll say, remember this about me, I work at Microsoft, the education product group team, as a group product manager. Okay, it says, I'll remember this, and now it's stored in memories. And you might say, hey, where are these memories actually stored? If you go down here, click on your icon for the name, and go to manage memory, there we go. You work at Microsoft and the education product team. And I can delete these memories, or I can add to them. If I hit add, it actually pops it in. Remember this. I live in Newcastle, Washington, and so on. You can also access memories directly right here, and it pulls up the manage memory. If I want to delete this, I can delete it. But now, if I just ask Copilot, where do I work and what job do I have? All right, it remembered that. Another aspect about Copilot memory that's nice is whether you're in your web or desktop or phone, you can add or delete your memories and it always keeps everything in sync and you can access them anywhere. And right on cue, feature number two, start a group. So in the upper right, you're gonna see invite. And just to note, this is rolled out to the beta customers, meaning the early adopters like me, if you're not seeing this feature yet, it's gonna roll out broadly soon. And if you wanna join the Edge Insiders to get early build access, I have a link in the description below. But I do wanna start a group. I wanna start a group to start planning for my TPS report offsite in the spirit of office space. So I will click invite, and I'm going to invite by link. Now I've copied a link to the clipboard. And I'm gonna go send this link to a couple people. I'm gonna send it to Peter from Office Space and to mix it up, Pam from the office. They're gonna join in this chat and I'll show how it works. And it looks like Pam said, hey Mike, let's plan our TPS report offsite. And Copilot stepped in and gave some ideas about where this could be. Now it looks like Peter piped in and said, I prefer Woodenville wine country. Okay, now Copilot's going in and suggesting specific venue options in Woodenville. Oh wow, this is great. So you can see both Peter joined and Peter's commenting here. Pam has a comment. So I'm gonna say, I'd rather start it at 9 a.m. since Bill Lumberg's an early bird. So Copilot's gonna kick in. Copilot kicks in and suggests a different time. So now we're in a collaborative group chat with Copilot helping out with these things. In the upper right, you're gonna see the people that were invited. It's me and it's Pam and it's Peter. Now I could remove them if I want. Maybe Peter's getting a little sassy. I could remove him. I could also end this chat or I could invite other members. Maybe I wanna have Bill Lumberg join in directly. Oh, Pam says, please don't add Bill Lumberg to this chat. Okay, so Copilot said, don't worry, this is a Lumberg free zone, just us and the TPS magic. So that is group chatting within Copilot. The third new feature is Copilot Vision. Now this is a really cool feature that rolled out recently, but now it's being brought to the phone as well as the browser. I'm gonna show it first in the Copilot desktop. So on my desktop in Windows here, I'm gonna launch the consumer Copilot, and here it is, and you're gonna see this little glasses icon. There's also getting guidance with your apps. I can select different apps. These are apps that I've used recently. So for example, if I wanna share OneNote, I click here and it's gonna ask me to share OneNote because that app is open. What it's gonna do is share the OneNote so Copilot can see my screen. Hey again, Mike. Hey there, how's it going? Looks like you're working on some offsite notes in OneNote. Need any help with those TPS reports? I do, and you know what? I'm doing a demo right now so everyone can see what you're saying. So let's have a little fun. What do you think the pre-meeting scribbles are? What are the key points on this page you can help me out with? You're in conference room 7B, and the coffee choices seem like a metaphor for the mood, motivation or denial. Yeah, I agree. You know what? Actually, on this OneNote page, what I'm trying to do, I actually, I haven't used OneNote very much. Can you help me find, I'm trying to find a specific button on the page. Up on the top on the home tab, I'm trying to find a button called dictate. Can you point that out for me? The dictate button. I've marked the dictate button for you. Give awesome. it a try. Thank you. I'm just going to go up here and click it. And there, I've got dictate going in OneNote. You know what? That was super helpful. I'm going to stop sharing now. Well, let's stop. So that's really cool ways that Copilot can see your screen. This also works on the iPhone, so I can share my screen to the iPhone when I'm in Copilot. The brand new update that was just announced recently is that Copilot Vision is now coming to the Edge browser. So we're gonna go back into the browser. 
I'm here in Edge, and we're gonna enable something that's called Copilot Mode. And this is a super cool mode. It turns your browser into a full AI browser. So go to the three dot menu here, go down to settings, and I'm gonna see this AI innovations. And again, if you don't see this yet, you don't have the latest builds, but it's coming out very soon. I'm on the early adopter build. So AI innovations, and there's this Copilot Mode. And I'm gonna turn this on and actually, a nice trick to see if you're in co-pilot mode. Right now, there's just an icon. Watch what happens when I flip this switch. Now it says co-pilot. That's sort of a nice little indicator that I'm in co-pilot mode. And there's a bunch of different features here. And I'm gonna show these features a little bit later. But the feature I'm gonna show now is I'm gonna show how co-pilot vision works. So first I'm gonna open up a new web page. Okay, it's my YouTube channel web page. Now I'm gonna go up and click co-pilot here. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click the microphone and that's gonna trigger Copilot Vision. Hey, Mike, what's on your mind today? Hey, I'd like you to check out this YouTube page and tell me what you see. I'm looking at your YouTube channel. It's packed with videos on Microsoft product features, especially the snazzy new ones. Yeah, You're I'm curious, what's along the bottom row? What, what type of videos do you see along that popular videos? On the bottom row, it's spotlighting popular videos that cover useful tips on Microsoft tools like OneNote, Forms, and Teams. Thanks, Copilot. So you can see Copilot can see any type of page that you put up. It could be a blog, it could be a YouTube page. And so it allows Copilot to watch and see your desktop. You can talk about whatever's on the web page, whether you're shopping, you're traveling, whether you're looking at YouTube. The fourth new feature is a new voice mode for Copilot, and there's a new little mascot called Miko. And that is Microsoft Copilot, M I, then C O, get it, Miko. So if I want to talk to Copilot, I just click the little microphone here. Hey, Mike, glad you're back. So, what's on your mind today? Hey there, Miko. Hey, I'm gonna show some demos here. I'd like you to turn purple. That's my favorite color. There you go. I'm now a lovely shade of purple. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna show how people, can I change you. I can change the voice. So maybe I wanna go and I'm gonna choose, oh, Meadow, how's that? Let's explore, explore the world together. together. That sounds good. What about I Birch? Can be your... what, do you think? what do you think? Could we make a good brainstorming? Canyon? I can give philosophical, creative, So lots of different voices. And I could turn Miko off. If if I don't want any voice. Hey, hey, Mike, great to have you. Hey, back. how's it going? Okay, I'm just showing a demo, so I'm gonna turn you off now. And so what's nice is it tracks that entire conversation that I've been having right here. That's a nice little demo of voice mode. Now, before we go, I'm gonna show a little Easter egg and we're gonna make the real Clippy appear. So let's watch this, we're gonna turn it on. Hey, Mike, you're back. We'll let's go to rain. I can't wait to learn more. And we're gonna show Miko. Hey Mike, welcome back. Hey there, I'm gonna show a little awesome. Easter egg. Here we go. So if you start clicking on Miko a bunch of times, left mouse click, it's Clippy! Clippy, it's so great to see you again. Oh, you found the secret. Yep, that's Clippy popping in for a surprise visit. Honestly, it's kind of fun to have a little throwback guest appearance once in a while. It is. You, would you call Clippy like your great, great, great grand clip? You know what? Let's roll with that, yeah? Okay. Clippy hey, thanks, Clippy. It's been good to see you. Secret Miko Clippy Easter egg. The fifth new feature is some interesting healthcare provider integration directly into Copilot. So let's say I want to go and I want to find a family care doctor near me. And hey, I'm going to prefer a male doctor in this case. So I'll hit go. Now, Copilot is integrated with Bing Maps. So it pulls up where these people are. It has all the details from the web. And there's a bunch of different doctors near me in Newcastle. I can scroll down. Now, if I want to go and search through these and see where they're located, I can easily do that. Now, let's say, oh, James Park, he looks interesting. I want to choose view details. Now, Copilot pulls out the side pane, has even more information as education, insurance. I can view all these things right here. Oh, great. They take lots of different insurances, languages that that doctor speaks. I could even call directly. So all that integration right there in the Copilot page. And this works for all sorts of different types of healthcare scenarios. So you can explore, but all these things are now packaged right directly into Copilot. The 16th feature is enhanced searching and citation updates in Copilot. So if I drop quick response, there's this new option called search and it answers with enhanced references. 
So now I'm going to go and I'm going to try to find all the Copilot updates in the fall release. And it's going to be searching out there and give me extra references. So I'll hit this and it's citing everything. It has VentureBeat plus one. There's a lot of different references here. And now what's really nice is every single thing is referenced. And at the bottom, I've got to show all. And I'm going to click this. It shows all the different references that it looked at. So it's really powerful in all these different places that it was searching across. And so if you have this search turned on, it enhances the references that it adds and it makes it really easy to see all your references all in one place. The seventh new feature is a remix library. So I'm going to open up the sidebar here and there's this new imagine option. I'll choose this. And there's all sorts of images that are being added in here by the community and you can go and you can remix one. So maybe I want to go here. Oh, this one looks kind of fun. Hit remix and whimsical 3D rendered furry creatures. Now I could copy that prompt. Now I might say, hey, it's near Halloween. Please make them into Halloween inspired fuzzy creatures. Hit go. Oh, love it. There's my spookified little friends. They're nice and fuzzy. Now I can share this message in prompt so I can actually copy this link. I can share it out on different social media sites. I can send it to someone and I can also download it just like here. So if I want to download that, there we go. I can save it. Now what I can do is go back into image labs and just explore all these different types of images. So there's just a ton of cool stuff in here that you can play around with and find some inspiration. And there's also the library right here. So any image you create, so it stores your image in the library under images. And if you've done things like created co-pilot pages, I don't have any right here or research reports or podcasts, it'll all be saved in the library automatically. So you don't have to go and remember where these things are. The eighth new feature is learn live, which is an improvement to the study and learn mode. So I'm going to drop the quick response and we'll choose study and learn right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to hit the microphone and let's do learn live. Hey, Mike. Hey there. I think I want to learn about linear equations. Can you help me out with that? Yep. Got it. We'll dive right in and take things step by step. Let's figure out what you already know and then build from there. Mm, I don't know anything. Can we start from the beginning? Let's keep it simple. Absolutely. We can go back to square one and keep things super simple. Let's start from the basics and take it step by step. Okay. So let's break it down. In the simplest terms, a linear equation is basically just an equation that graphs as a straight line. Now, rather than me just handing you the definition, let me ask you, what do you think makes a line non-linear in comparison? Hmm, a curved line maybe? Exactly, you've got it. A non-linear line often curves or bends, so it's not just a straight shot. Okay, you know what? So I think linear... I'm done for the day, but thank you for the Learn Live demo, Miko. We'll see you later. And now all of my conversation about study and learn was captured. Nice way to get that learn live. You've got a little character. You can go back and forth instead of just a wall of text. That's the learn live that's built into study and learn mode here. And if I want to close this out, just hit X. The next set of features are using copilot mode in edge. And just a reminder, we turned on copilot mode earlier in this video on the settings page. If you go to AI innovations, that's where you turn it on. And I'm going to show some of the features now. The ninth new feature is a nice simple one, and that is it's really easy to open up this copilot button sort of in a mini mode. So if I do Alt C, it opens this up and I can have a really nice quick access to copilot and talk about any web page I'm looking at. I can even pin this to keep the sidebar open and it's sizable. I can go backwards and forwards really easy. I will unpin it. And the first question is, you know, I'm looking to get a new copilot plus PC, a surface laptop. Super cool device. So I'm going to ask a little question. You know, can you make any recommendations about this Copilot Plus PC? So it's going to read the web page. It's going to take the knowledge it has and give me some highlights. So hey, here's some highlights. It has these in a table, processor, display, battery life. What makes it stand out? Considerations. Great. A lot of cool stuff here. Now Copilot can start to see across your tabs. So I'm going to pin this. Now I've been doing some research. Maybe I'm looking at, oh, here's an Acer Copilot Plus PC. And I've also, I'm looking at this Dell laptop. And so now I'm going to ask Copilot, hey, can you look at the three tabs, make a table comparing the devices and the pros and cons of each at the end. And I'm going to make this a little bit wider and we'll hit go. Copilot actions, it can look across all my tabs and understand what is in each web page. 
So here it's building a table. Oh, that's really nice. The laptop, the Acer, the Dell. It's got the price, processor, RAM. Great, it's building a really nice, super easy to read table. It's got pros and cons of each below. So being able to easily see across all my tabs is really cool. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna close this and let's just say I'm browsing something else right now. You know, I'm over here at the Microsoft Education blog and I remembered, you know what? I wanna go check out that Amazon laptop I was looking at. So we'll just do Alt-C and I'll ask, hey, can you find the Surface laptop info I was looking at on Amazon earlier? So it searches my browser history. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Oh, it found the exact details from what I was looking at. It even has revisiting the page, here's the link. Okay, I'll just click this. Now that's gonna bring me right back to that page I was looking at. Copilot has access to my browser history. Now I can't look at infinity, it just looks at a short amount of time, the last few days. You can control this also in your settings so you can say don't look at my history. So if you're worried about privacy, you can completely turn this off as well. But this is quite cool because now it can remember what you've been doing, it can see your browser tabs, and it can be quite handy. You can go much deeper with Copilot Actions and wire them up to your Outlook email, Gmail, have them do shopping for you. I'm not gonna show them in this video, but you should play around and go deeper with Copilot Actions. The 11th new feature is a really cool one, and that is you can translate any video in real time to different languages. And this can be on YouTube or anything that you're looking at in the browser. This is an Edge specific feature. So I'm gonna open up this video right here. I'll be showing an end okay, so I'm talking in English. I'm gonna pause this. And if you hover, you're gonna see this little toolbar come up with some options. And one of them is translate audio. So I'm gonna click this and I wanna go and I'm gonna say, I wanna translate this from English and I'm gonna choose into Spanish. And there's gonna be more languages added over time, but we'll choose Spanish. And now I'm gonna hit translate. It installs that Spanish pack. Now it's gonna translate. And now I'm gonna hit play. Una renovación importante recientemente, wow. reemplazando office.com y cubriré el chat de copiloto, la búsqueda. Los so it adds the full audio translation in that other language. If I want to change it to another language, maybe I want to do Hindi. Now let's try Hindi. Pretty incredible real-time translation for any videos that you're watching in Edge, just by hovering and then choosing this little translate audio button. The 12th new feature is a simple one, but really useful. If I hit the plus here, my new tab is a Copilot tab. And I've got all my Office apps right here and other things that I might wanna add, different links. But I can directly just start using Copilot by hitting that new page tab right here. And the cursor goes to here. If you wanna change the cursor to go back up to the web address, I just go to the three dot menu into settings, go to AI innovations, and right here, Copilot new tab page, I can set preferences here. And right here, focus on the new tab page, I can turn that off. So now when I hit the new tab, it always goes to the address bar. But if you wanna have Copilot as your default new tab, really easy to do now. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.